Hello darling, have you been dreaming of more pillow talk? Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a full face of Charlotte Tilbury makeup. I've been introduced to her brand, I'm not new to her brand, I've had a couple of products of hers, but just recently I just rediscovered her brand, I suppose. I started watching her channel again and I kind of realized that there is this whole idea, a theme behind her brand and it's actually quite um, quite fabulous. So I just you know, was really interested in trying more of her products and I thought it would be a great idea to do a full face of Charlotte Tilbury makeup um, and then also give you a review of her latest creation, this Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette. So that's gonna be in the video as well. I, of course, I've included her latest foundation, Airbrush uh, Flawless Foundation. So all that's gonna be in the video. Um, for those of you who don't know, don't know who Charlotte Tilbury is, she's a celebrity makeup artist. Um, her celebrity clientele include Amal Clooney, um, Salma Hayek, uh, Jennifer Aniston, people like that, and she also does. Um, you know supermodel makeup you know for runway shows so that's what she's not known for and she has her own makeup line charlotte tilbury makeup line so charlotte has this whole aesthetic behind her makeup i didn't realize it before i saw her packaging was just really beautiful and fabulous i've always i've always noticed that like she has this really kind of art deco kind of um, you know packaging which I thought was really good and her components are just you know beautiful um, always you know thought they were really really gorgeous but I didn't realize the whole inspiration her whole line is imp inspired by old Hollywood glamour um, breakfast at Tiffany's you know things like that pillow talk um, so you know movies and all old Hollywood movies old new you know hollywood period that's her inspiration and supermodels you know her hairstyles you know even her own makeup is very much uh inspired by the 50s and 60s uh that old hollywood glam um from the 20s actually anywhere from 20s to 60s i would say um, and she even talks, you know, like uh, uh, Audrey Hepburn in Breakfast at Tiffany's movie, Hello Darling, you know, so she, the, her, her entire um, theme is, is that and I thought that was quite neat and I did not quite realize that before and I find it a little weird that none of the uh, the YouTubers who talk about her makeups ever mentioned that before. That's really the whole idea behind her Charlotte's makeup. She even have products named after, you know, the whole Hollywood supermodel theme like Film Star Bronson Go, Supermodel Body, so she has a lot of those and she has shades named after some actresses and other celebrities like Jennifer Aniston, Salma Hayek, uh, Amal Clooney, whole aesthetic and theme based on um, Hollywood. She developed, she developed a whole Pillow Talk line after her first product, uh, the Pillow Talk lip, lip liner, which she says mimics the exact color of lips, but I, I think that's more like very light to fair people's lips. I mean, my lips, it's definitely not the color of my lips. So that's what uh, what she came up with first and then it became very popular and that's the, the thing that started it all. Um, and then she developed a whole line, a pillow talk line. So now that we've talked about the basics of her brand, uh, let's get started. So I am very, very excited to try this product by Charlotte Tilbury. It's her magic cream. Uh, apparently Charlotte tells the story that uh, the supermodels in the backstage would look for her. Where's Charlotte's magic cream? You know, look for her magic cream. I want Charlotte's magic cream. Apparently she used to mix uh, her own cocktail, a uh, concoction of different creams to create this specific sort of primer, uh, moisturizer underneath makeup that she would use underneath makeup on models. And apparently models couldn't live without it. They would always look for Charlotte's magic cream. And apparently it plumps up the skin and really gives it that supple, youthful look. 
so I've seen people use that, use that on camera and I'm very excited to use it because I feel like it's a really good product just from the, the looks of it. So I didn't, I bought a lot of Charlotte's products but I did not buy the magic cream. I wanted to wait for the Sephora VIB sale. I mean, although everything else I bought here is pretty expensive too, but the magic, magic cream is $100, you guys. Anyways, I thought, you know, April sale is coming up soon, so I may as well wait for it. And I wanted to try it first. So I went to Sephora and got a sample. So it's very thick. Here's the sample that I got. I don't know if the camera is gonna focus. Um, it's a very thick cream. Um, so Charlotte always starts her makeup um, with this magic cream on her videos so I'm going to oh guys that's like a bucket of water on my skin wow Whew. that feels really moisturizing and hydrating I can see why this is plumping I can already see that it's gonna do that it's very um, luxurious even though it's thick it doesn't like it the, the skin skin kind of drinks it up and see like my skin looks supple already wow it's really amazing i'm going to use this um charlotte's massaging technique she takes her knuckles and massages around her cheekbones like this around cheekbones like this in some of her videos um i've seen her do this i want to try her technique here a massage technique um, and then she taps like this and she calls this the Tilbury tap <laughs> so um, now I'm going to use I also got a sample of her eye cream it's a little peach like the magic cream is white and this one is peach probably because it's for the under eyes i um, not sure if it does any color correcting just from a little tint of pink um, peach but yeah I'm gonna use my ring fingers to massage this in to my eyes I'm gonna take it above my eyelids as well not just under eyes um, so um, that yeah that feels similar to the magic cream very hydrating I can already feel it's very hydrating um, so now I'm going to color correct under my eyes using her color corrector. Uh, just using her color corrector. This is Charlotte Tilbury's color corrector that she just recently came up out with. I have the shade number three. Um, yeah, tan done. Um, I probably didn't need to uh, get the number three. This this orange of a color corrector. I probably should go for number two, the peachy shade. Uh, which I will also get during the VIB sale here soon, I think. Um, I'm gonna take it and tap it under my eyes with my ring finger and sort of blend it a little bit. I have to color correct you guys every day now when I put makeup on because I am getting very little sleep. I have a newborn. I say that in every one of my videos. But anyway, so I'm gonna use my fingers like that. I'm going to sort of tap it in without taking the pigmentation away too much I want it to stay like this so it does the color correcting for me my under eye dark circles so next I'm going to so I prime my face with her magic cream but I'm also going to use her Hollywood flawless filter so this is the packaging I got the shade 5 for tan skin um, Charlotte uses these in many different ways. She said you can mix it in with your foundation. You can put it on your high points of your face. Um, what was the other way? You can put it on top of makeup, uh, like on the high, you know, under the makeup on the high points and then put makeup on or over the makeup on the high points. You can use this in different ways. So what I'm going to do it, um, is I'm going to put it on my high points under the makeup. And this comes with a, a doe foot applicator. So I'm going to put this on the back of my hand and I'm gonna use my finger to tap that onto the high points. right 
there. Okay, so I'm going to uh, just use my fingers to distribute it. So it gives this sort of youthful glow, as you guys can see. Um, go yep I think that did the trick um, it's very nice and glowy um, probably gonna be really nice when I put the foundation on top so now I'm going to go into Charlotte's newest foundation this is the airbrush flawless foundation this is the packaging and guys I need to warn you guys uh, when it comes to shade range shades in this foundation um, I am used to um, you know uh, brands any brand you know Dior anything having cool neutral and warm undertones in foundation shades and warm is you know yellow based and neutral is you know not yellow or or pink based it's like in the middle and cool tones are usually you know pink undertones uh, that's kind of what I'm I'm used to but Charlotte's foundation range, the undertones are very different. Uh, I found that the warm undertones, anything warm shades, are very, very yellow. I mean, it's super yellow, like you look like you have yellow fever. Um, I got, originally got the shade number 10 warm, I think, and boy was it yellow. And it just looked really, really awful. So I went back to shade match myself and I thought, hey, you know, I just have to get a neutral undertone foundation but even the neutral I tried um, nine neutral and it was still yellow it's very much yellow not as yellow as the the warm but it was super still very yellow for neutral neutral undertone so then I'm like well what am I going to do and then for whatever reason I just put my hand on the nine cool which I've never in my life put a cool undertone some foundation on my face. Uh, obviously, I'm not a cool undertone person. I am um, actually, I'm not warm, exactly warm either. I look warm, but my, I'm actually in, the, in between warm and neutral, and I have a little bit of olive undertones as well. So, I mean, my veins are kind of, uh, they're not totally green, they're greenish blue. So that means I'm kind of a neutral undertone person. Uh, with, a, with maybe a little bit of olive so I've never put anything cool undertone on my face before in my life but I just really thought well if it goes really yellow then maybe cool is just neutral looking I just took a guess and I picked up the um, nine cool and I shade put it on me and it was the closest match and I was blown away I have never ever bought a cool undertone foundation in my life before but this is this is the nine um this is the component it's so beautiful look at that i mean it's just gorgeous her packaging guys a plus plus uh very uh art deco um kind of um rose gold packaging that's very uh very beautiful it's um uh, I like her logo and everything as well. So this is like nine cool. As you can see, that it, it doesn't look cool. It looks warm to me. Um, anyway, this is yeah. Again, my shade is nine cool, um, and this is supposed to be to have a matte sort of matte finish, um, and it's very thick in consistency. So I'm going to use a beauty blender to apply this foundation. Um, I'm gonna put it on the back of my beauty blender. See, as you can see, it's like quite thick. It's not runny at all. It's a thick foundation. Um, I'm, and I'm assuming this is going to be full coverage. So I'm gonna dot it all over it. See you guys? I mean, that does not look anything like a cool um, undertone. Did you, do you see this? And the other thing I forgot to mention is that, yeah, now right now it looks like it may be a little lighter for me. Oh, actually, it's a pretty good match. But anyway, it's going to oxidize. Um, Charlotte herself said on the website, I think Sephora website, uh, to um, 
wait a few minutes Sephora or her website I can't remember uh, to put the foundation on um, pat, do a patch this and and wait a few minutes for it to oxidize so this this does oxidize slightly and it's going to get darker so once I put this on a few minutes later it's probably going to be a little bit darker than it's showing up right now see I mean how in which world is this a cool undertone this is not um, but it's beautiful I like the coverage it's definitely full coverage foundation So I didn't quite get a full pump earlier. There was kind of a quarter or half pump and then I got another quarter or half pump here. So I would say one pump is more than enough for your entire face. Um, so I'm gonna go over my eyelids and under my eyes as well on top of my color corrector. This is a beautiful finish, however. So this is this is supposed to be a matte finish, but um, I think because I was wearing her very moisturizing base, the Magic Cream, it's coming out uh, more satin. More of a satin finish. But I do love the coverage. It's very beautiful. Uh, very full coverage, actually. I would say medium to full coverage foundation. And it's also buildable. I'm gonna put some on my neck. You must always bring the foundation down to your neck. This is actually a really good color match, you guys. So nine cool turned out to be my color. Who would have thought? I've never bought a foundation that had a cool undertone in my life. I'm gonna bring it to my ears a little bit. This is actually a pretty darn good match for my skin tone. And I feel like that flawless filter is kind of really making my cheeks here and my forehead very glowy and my chin as you can see underneath the foundation very nice i like it okay now i'm going to go in with her magic away liquid concealer this is the component again this is a product that i just bought um, i had the i had a blush from her and her very famous uh, compact powder, which I will get to here soon. And I had the color corrector and her contour one before, but everything else I bought um, recently. So now I'm going to use the Magic Away Concealer and conceal under my eyes. So this is a this is definitely not first impression you guys I did try this product before um, it's not my favorite uh, my favorite concealer of all time is Giorgio Armani power fabric concealer as you guys know I mentioned that in a couple of my videos um, this one's good um, it's a little bit thicker than I like for a concealer to be um, quite thick actually but it does not, you know, though it's uh, thick, it doesn't quite crease or anything like that. Um, you know, I mean, if you set your eyes, it would not it would not crease. And it provides really good coverage for under eyes. Um, as you can see, it did a good job concealing. So I'm going to use the same to sort of highlight the center of my nose and then I'm gonna put some on my smile lines as well so it's so you have to twist it to bring the product out I saw a Charlotte's uh, makeup artist one of her people um, using it to cover the smile lines so 
see if it works well. Oh, that did a good job brightening up and concealing. There you go. For lip. Okay, so now I'm going to dip into her contour wand. So this is her cream contour. Um, it is the um, contour wand, Hollywood contour wand. I have it, I think, in the, sh the second shade, the darker shade that she has. So it has this little lock. I've already had this product, as you can see, I'm almost out. I've gone through, I believe, uh, two or three of these. I really do love, I already know, this is not a first impression, this product. I already love this product very, very, very much. Um, it's it's like very user-friendly, it's very beginner-friendly. It, it blends itself, you don't have to do much. So there's a little twisty thing here. So you open it up and you squeeze the product up to the top. I'm almost out, you guys, with this product. Um, yeah, there it is. That came out. So you get a little bit of the product out and then you cream contour. So I'm going to put just a little bit. I kind of squeezed it too much. So I'm just going to put it right there on an angle. Um, and a couple of dots up here. And then jawline. Yeah, so the only pr problem with this kind of um, arrangement is that uh, if you squeeze too much, you can't push it back. So you just got to be careful. So I'm going to use a beauty blender to blend this out. Or you can use a brush as well. I'll use both so you guys can see. Um, with cream contour I like to start a little higher because I find when I blend it it just kind of slides down so as you saw I put applied it a, like right on top of my cheekbones like right there instead of underneath because like as you can see now it's already migrated down um, and I'm gonna blend, blend under here as well so I have a lot of product on my my one there so I'm gonna put a little bit more on and blend with the brush and show you guys how it looks like with a brush when you blend with a brush under the, here where the double chins are of people and including myself there you go so I'm gonna put a little bit more on just to show you guys and blend with a blood brush since I have a lot of product on my wand here so I'm going to use a brush This is Scott Barnes bubble brush. Use this to blend contour, um, cream, and powder contour. here that's like as you can see it's very beginner friendly I mean it just kind of kind of blends itself um, the contour wand okay so now I'm going to go ahead and set my face with now that I'm done with all the cream products, um, I'm gonna set my face with Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in two medium. And I'm going to use my Lamer brush. 
and set my face. This is supposed to be one of her best products, which I, I agree. It's a really, really good product. I would agree with that. Uh, this product I've had for a long time. This is like my third or fourth uh, compact, and I go through these really quickly. Uh, there's not a lot of product, by the way, you guys, in this. Um, I think it's just uh, 8 grams, uh, 0.28 ounces. That's a very little amount of product. And you tend to hit pants, yes, as I am right now. I haven't even been using this for very long. It's because... Um, it you know you hit the pan fast because there's very little amount of product so there you go I set my face this gives like that she's right the name as the name says it it's a very airbrush kind of look that it gives um, and then I'm going to set my under eyes with the same powder I just want to make sure that I smooth it out first before I set it so I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to set um, Like I said, this concealer would crease if you don't set it. So you do have to set the magic concealer. Um, otherwise it will crease. Whereas my Georgia Armani Power Fabric, I can wear without setting if I had to, if I wanted to. But I always set my concealer though. Since I have, you know, kind of bordering oily skin and it's just what I've always done. So I'm going to put a little extra powder in my T-zone. Okay, um, so now I'm going to do uh, use another very iconic product. This is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. Look at this packaging, you guys. It's just luxurious, so luxurious. Um, this is what it looks like. So I have another story about this product. So this comes in two shades. This didn't, didn't used to come in two shades. It was just this one, this one. But recently she came up with um, a darker version for uh, a deep skin. So I thought I had to get the deep skin version because, like, look at this. This does not look like it's going to show up on me. It does not look very, very dark at all. So I got the dark version. But the dark version had this really, really like. The highlighter was almost, um, it was very rose gold and to the point that it was nearing reddish kind of uh, hue and you know, too, too dark. The highlighter was, on me the highlighter showed up like a patch of red, you know. So it was like having a strip of red on my face and the bronzer was quite dark as well. So it turns out I can use this bronzer, even though it looks super light in the pan. Uh, this is actually supposed to be a contour powder, although it says bronze and you know it's cool toned as you can see. So it's kind of like a contourish br bronzer. Hello. So, so I'm gonna take it on my Tom Ford brush and I'm going to follow the hollow, like Charlotte says. Yep, it's showing up on my skin. Okay, now I'm going to start on the eyes. Um, so I want to put this to the test. This is her Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette that she just came out with. It's pretty cool packaging as usual. Very nice. It's got that rose gold and pink art deco look. I've been using this a little bit, uh, so it's got a little bit of my um, fingerprints on it. So again, this is not a full first impression for me. I've used this before. So it comes with this one, two, three, one, two, three instructions. So it's, it's prime, enhance, and smoke um, is one, two, three, the three-step process. So this is what the inside of the palette looks like. I think I'm going to use, so she has the day, desk, date, and dream. 
um, organized in three shades. Um, so I'm probably going to use this today to go with what I'm wearing. Um, so I'm going to start by priming using her prime shade. I'm going to take it, pick it up on a um, Sonia G uh, brush, natural hair brush. And then I'm going to use her prime shade all over my lid to prime. So this is like her nighttime look. These three on the end. I'm going to pick up the second shade. Bring it, bring it halfway in like that. There you go. That looks just really gorgeous. So what I did was the first shade all over the eyelid, second shade uh, with uh, this right here, the flat shader kind of brush, the second shade and I put that um, halfway in the outer third of it um, and towards the center, brought it towards the center, this part of it. And then I took a, a more uh, flat, uh, sort of tape a uh, pinched blending brush and I picked up the last one the match it here and I contoured my eye um, and defined the outer V like that and I brought it uh, down the crease a little bit one third of the way um, in now I'm going to use a um, pencil brush you know, and I'm going to pick up the shade in the middle the enhanced shade and I'm going to bring that under the eyes to third of the way and connect it to the upper lid. And I'm going to take a small <clears throat> brush like this. And I'm going to pick up, actually, from the day look, I'm going to pick up this color right here, the first shade. And I'm going to put that in the first half on the lower lash line. Now I'm going to use something else to highlight my inner corner later, um, but for now, that's the outlook. And then, oh yeah, one more thing. I'm going to take a flat definer brush like this. This is Wayne Goss. All these, the the um, the pencil brush was Wayne Goss too. And then I'm going to pick up the the matte shade, and then I'm going to tighten. Tightly put it under, right under, about two thirds of the way in. There you go. Okay, so now for the feline flick. So um, this is Charlotte's one of the signature moves that she does when she does makeup is the feline flick. She likes to give that, um, you know, feline looking flicked up. 
uh, lifted um, kind of eyeliner. It's actually very similar to my style, my Cleopatra eyeliner as I call it. Um, I use usually a liquid eyeliner to do my winged out Cleopatra eyeliner. And her feline flick is very similar to that. But she, the difference is she uses eye pencils most of the time. She does use um, liquid liner as well. But I have both. I do have both. The, the, this is the packaging. Same Art Deco, beautiful, gorgeous packaging. So this is her, um, the liquid liner right here. So I have this. And then I also have her pencil. She starts in the corner like this, drawing that sharp feline corner, kind of like feline line, and then bring it all the way up and come two thirds of the way. And then she puts a dot right there and then connects it to the dot, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna. Now open my eye, kind of eyeball it, I want it to be right there. There you go. So the problem with this liner right now, this is a beautiful color, this berry brown. It's gorgeous, but I chose the three darkest colors in the eyeshadow palette, so it's not showing up as sharply. Uh, so I probably will go over it with her feline flick liquid liner just to sharpen it up a little bit like not go all over it but like just the base of it and then maybe I'll smudge it on top so come uh, two thirds of the way and then look up and that's where I want it to end. And then connect it. It's very important to have a sharp pencil for this. Mine's getting dull. And then she connects it to the lower lash line. Like two thirds of the way in. Well, I would say about one third of the way in. This is similar to my Cleopatra eyeliner, but it's different in the sense that she connects it to the bottom lash line and then she most of the time uses a pencil now I'm gonna sharpen it up with the feline flick eyeliner I'm gonna go over it and smudge the top a little bit with the pencil. So as you can see, I connected the lower uh, lash line to the eyeliner up there, just like Charlotte does the feline flick. So I did smudged the top of the black liner there a little bit and then I use the enhanced shade to smudge it a little bit further so I get that same feline flick look but you can actually see it on the these three darker shades and on my skin tone so that was my solution to that so now I'm going to take a flat shader brush like this one by MAC and I'm going to pick up that uh, 
Day Look Champagne shade from here. And then I'm going to highlight my brow bone with it. I'm going to take this um, Charlotte's Contour, uh, Highlighter Wand, the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand. This is what the packaging looks like. And then I'm going to take it out. And I'm going to, it has the similar kind of locking mechanism. I'm going to unlock it and bring a little product to the top. And I'm going to take it on my finger. going to tap that on the high points Now I'm going to take the highlighter from the bronze uh, contour highlight duo and pick it up on an Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. Take a uh, brush and I'm going to contour my nose a little bit. I forgot to do that earlier. I'm going to pick up a more precise brush. Next I'm going to pick up Charlotte's Lip Liner in Pillow Talk Medium and line my lips. I'm gonna pick up the Kissing Lipstick in the shade Pillow Talk Intense. This is what it looks like. I've used this before. I love, I love these lipsticks, you guys. They're emollient and look at that. Just beautiful, very creamy and smells like vanilla. It reminds me, the formula reminds me the Kissing formula. Uh, not the matte revolution but the kissing lipstick formula reminds me of Natasha Denona's um, new I need a nude lipstick line that exact formula almost and same smell the vanilla smell I love this shade so beautiful I'm also gonna pick up the Pillow Talk Matte Revolution Lipstick in Medium during Sephora haul or VIB sale. But this is just so Charlotte likes to put the blusher on at the very end so that you can see how much color you need on the cheeks after you put the eye color, lip color and everything so you can balance everything out. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use a Wayne Gauss brush and pick up her blush. 
I've had this blush for a while, but it was sitting in my drawer. I wasn't using it. I bought it because I wanted to have one of Charlotte's blushes, but I didn't really use it very much. But I'm starting to use it now. This is the Cheek to Shake Blush uh, Swish and Pop Blusher in the shade Love is the Drug. So I'm going to employ her technique where she goes swish and pop. And then I'm going to swish and pop onto my cheek. This is what Charlotte does, swish and pop. I like to go a little heavy handed with my blusher because I like to go at the end of the routine and uh, buff my face and my face eats makeup you guys I'm telling you it eats makeup so I go a little heavy handed with my blush I'm gonna bring it up here a little bit and then later I buff that out so don't worry that it looks a little intense right now, but I love this blush actually. It's a really pretty color. And the finish is really gorgeous as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and buff, use the same powder, Charlotte Tilbury powder, and buff my face a little bit. Usually I use a finishing powder, and this is too. This is a nice finishing powder. Um, but I normally use a little bit more um, radiant kind of powder this powder by the way guys it's very uh, finely milled it's very silky really love it it's a great compact I mean it's the best compact powder I think I, I, I have I love this compact I would say this is my favorite now I'm going to go in with her mascara Legendary Lashes 2 Mascara. So this is what it looks like, the component. Yeah, I really like that mascara, you guys. I mean, look at that. It looks like I'm wearing false lashes. Really volume, gave me volume to my lashes. I was gonna wear false lashes, but I don't think I need to anymore. Yeah, I mean, I have really good lashes already, and if I use a really good mascara, I don't really have to wear lashes. So it turns out I don't need lashes with this mascara. Well, definitely approved that one. And now I'm going to use Charlotte's, I love this. this I've been dying to get this product actually, the eyebrow gel. Legendary Brows. This is what it looks like. And it, this has the tiniest little um, wand, you guys. Look at this. Look at how tiny this wand is. It's like perfect. I've been dying to get this actually. I've always wanted to get this. So I'm going to uh, put that on my brows now. I don't have her eyebrow pencil. I don't like, she has like that thick, flat, thick one. You know how Benefit has like the flat thick one and then the really tiny pencil like one the precise brow pencil and then they have the the other brow pencil that's a little flat so that's what she has the, the bigger flatter one this is what I really wanted to try from Charlotte the um, eyebrow setter here with this tiny little um, one you can kind of mimic uh, the hairs eyebrow hairs so nice it's actually very good eyebrow setter really like it it's got a good tint to it so you get the right shade and you can probably if you have good fairly decent brows you could probably just use this product just to um, to fill in any you know space and set the brow at the same time this is actually more than a brow setter I think it's like a brow filler I 
corner a little bit. And then I'm going to put that just right in the brow watch a little bit. I'm going to set my face. I have to say I love all the products. Um, the foundation uh, is more on the full coverage side. I wouldn't say it's my favorite foundation, but it's up there. It's very good, um, especially if you wear a good base like Her Magic Cream. It's not too matte. You can kind of adjust it to be like a satin finish. Um, like that, and I have a feeling it's going to be long wearing. Uh, and the concealer, it, again, it's not my favorite, but it's really good concealer. It's a, a little bit thicker than I thought it was going to be. Uh, my favorite concealer is uh, Giorgio Armani Power Fabric. This is thicker in consistency, but it doesn't, you know, crease under the eyes. As you can see, my under eyes look great. Um, but you have to set this concealer. If you don't, it will crease. Um, and then uh, contour and highlighting wands. Uh, I've always, I've already used this. You know, I've, this is like my third one. I love this. This is very beginner friendly. This makes cream contouring a breeze. It blends itself out to nothing. You know, it just gives you just the right amount, no matter how much you put on. And you can never overdo with this. And it controls how you how you do it. So I really, really highly recommend that product, you guys. Um, and then the highlighter wand, it was a good cream highlighter. Um, I mean, is it my favorite? I think I prefer Natasha Denona's cream highlighters over this. But this is very easy, again, the wand to use and just blend out with your fingers um, or uh, a sponge or something. It really is a nice finish. I regret not buying the peach shade. This is a little too goldish to me for me, I think. Um, I'm going to try the peach shade as well. And the, the bronze and highlighter duo, uh, I really like it. This turned out to be just uh, not too light for me. It, although it looks really light in the pan, it actually isn't that light on the skin. Um, highlighter, you know, it's, it's okay. It's not the best highlight. It's more intense than I thought it was going to be. The blusher was very good. It's got a satin, beautiful kind of pearly shim, uh, um, finish, this shade. And I'm also going to get the Pillow Talk blusher in medium. I think she has now a regular Pillow Talk blusher, medium and intense version of uh, the Pillow Talk blush, I think. I'm going to get that. This was a the... Um, the shade Love is the Drug, like the blush and the swish and pop, that was a really fun way to apply blush. And then of course this, my favorite uh, compact powder of all time, Charlotte Tilbury, Tilbury uh, Flawless, Air, Airbrush Flawless um, Compact Powder, love that, I mean I've always loved it. And this one right here, the uh, Hollywood Flawless Filter, um, it was a great product underneath the foundation, you know, on the high points of the face. You can mix it in with foundation too. Um, it gives a nice glow under the under the skin and I, I think it's a great product. I like that as well. Um, legendary Bra, uh, I'm sorry, Legendary Lashes Volume 2. Great mascara, as you can see, really thick. I look like I'm wearing um, false lashes today. It's very, uh, uh, if you like that really volumized sort of uh, spidery lashes, this is a really good mascara. I like that very much and I love the brow setter. It's actually more than a brow setter. It's a brow tinter almost. Um, you don't need to use any other product. If you have fairly decent brows already, you can just get away with using this. And I love the tiny little tiny wand. I mean, that's why I wanted this product always. I've always wanted to get it to try that out. You can kind of mimic the hair, you know, um, with tiny brush strokes. Um, I love the kissing lipstick. This is just so, um, this smells like vanilla and the consistency is very creamy, kind of similar to Natasha Denona's I Need a Nude uh, lipstick line. Um, this one, of course, one of my all-time ride or die favorite products. I have it in this shade number three. Um, again, I'm gonna, I think, buy the peach version of this too, the number two. 
um, what did I forget? Oh, and this one right here, this is not my favorite, you guys, like her uh, liquid liner. It was a little crumbly when it dries, like, kind of like very dry kind of formula. It's not very, I personally prefer like a more liquid, uh, on the more liquid side and that glides on and then dries down to a matte finish. That's my favorite type of liquid liner. This is okay. The brush is not um, hair, it's actually a, one of those uh, stiffer brushes, uh, stiffer, more non-hair uh, brush uh, tips, which I prefer like a brush tip, you know, like the, um, the Maneater uh, Eyeliner by Tarte. That's my favorite eyeliner um, and it dries down and uh, to a nice finish. Uh, this is not my favorite eyeliner. I wouldn't, I really don't recommend this one. Um, the lip liners I have here, I didn't use today, the Pillow Talk Intense. Um, and then I have Pillow Talk Medium. So I today used the medium, the lighter one right there. Um, so creamy, creamy lip liners, they're really great. I highly recommend them. And then finally, the star of the show, the Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette. Uh, this is a great, great product, you guys. Um, I really think that this is up there with Natasha Denona quality. I mean, look at the, the swatch right there. I forgot to swatch for you guys earlier. So that's the, here, I will swatch all three shades that I use today. Um, So those are the three shades that I used today. Um, they are nice, very emollient. Um, I think she has oil, some kind of oil in there. If I'm not mistaken, she mentioned in one of the videos. Uh, they're very emollient and they don't have any fallout whatsoever. Um, and they just like light on and it's got a nice finish, nice uh, shimmer uh, sheen to it which gives like this effortless kind of uh, beautiful um, eye looks, which I very much appreciate. So this is the finished look, you guys. I really love the way it came out. Um, so what are my final thoughts on Charlotte Tilbury products? I think it's a great, beautiful uh, luxury brand with a lot of really amazing products. I would recommend almost all of it. Um, and I think the quality is really up there. So is the price, um, but I think the price is worth it. I will say the price is pretty high up there, but um, I think the, the, the entire aesthetic of uh, flawless, effortless beauty inspired by old Hollywood glam, Hollywood period, I really enjoyed that. I think the theme of the brand is really fabulous. The packaging, the quality, um, all of it, I think it's really amazing. I very much enjoyed playing with uh, Charlotte Tilbury products today and I want to explore more of it in the near future. I hope you guys enjoyed this full face of Charlotte Tilbury makeup in the tutorial and review. I very much enjoyed playing with uh, her products today. I will see you in my next video.